Hi, this is Dave Chenault with Skylight Systems, and in this video, we're going to talk about the Projects module. I'm going to explain how it's used, show you the capabilities, and at the end of this module, you should have a deep appreciation of the module and why it's so important to Sidekick 365 XRM Ultimate. So let's take a look here. On the home page, you're going to see a number of different modules listed out here. There's the tasks, opportunities, accounts, and at the bottom of this is going to be the projects. These are ones that are open and assigned to you. Let's go ahead and take a look at ABC Lock and Key. So when I select that project, I'm going to see information about the project, including things like if I've tracked any time, if I have any notes, if there's any products associated with it and then basic information about that project. We'll go through all that here on this video. So let's step back for a minute and take a look at the project module itself. You can create projects that are standalone, meaning they're not attached to an account or an opportunity, or you can attach them to an account or an opportunity. So this is a very useful module because you can track implementations after the sale of something that you've worked on with a customer and sold. So it might be something like a software installation. But it's also useful if you wanted to do something around a particular account. Maybe you wanted to have a project where you were doing a customer appreciation for that account and you wanted to put together, let's say, a luncheon. So you could have a project just for that account rather than an opportunity. And then there are times when you want to do projects that are not associated to any account or opportunity. Let's say it was a new marketing campaign and you wanted to work on that. Or maybe it was a new website design. Anything you can think of, right? You can go ahead and set up a project and then just by clicking on the buttons you can select if it's a standalone, if it's an account centric project, or if it's around an opportunity. And you'll see here that they have statuses and if it was related based upon a campaign, an email campaign that you started, and you can say, well, how many projects did we have that resulted from that campaign? You could also assign a security profile to it so only certain people can see it. And if you notice at the top, it's going to have its own set of tasks, notes, documents, and contacts. And the documents are really interesting because you can attach emails, or store files with this project. So when you're in Outlook, you can say this is an important email for this project. You can select that Upload to Sidekick button in the ribbon and then push it over to this project and you have a record of it. Now if we scroll down a little farther, you're going to notice there are notes that you can set up. There are items. These are products or could be services that you're tracking. And then you can have actually the time that you're spending on that project and track that with a total. So very useful stuff here. If you want to add in a note, you just hit the plus sign. And we can select uh, a background note or maybe a to-do. And I'll say call Lyndon. And then I'll just give it a date here. I'll say this is on 7-15. And call Lyndon today. And I'll set up an email reminder so that's sent out. Uh, let's make it for tomorrow. We'll change things around a bit. Let's make this for tomorrow. And then it'll go to me, Alan Steiner is who I'm logged in as. I can always override that. So at midnight, um, email will come into my inbox that says, call Lyndon today. And I could actually put in the phone number and all those kind of things. So you get the idea. You can set up these notes with reminders on them about the project. You can also assign items. So if you have a product, it could be a labor or it could be a physical product, you can associate a quantity and what the cost and the price was, etc. And also the time. If you want to keep track of your time on a project, you can go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and put one in here now for July 15th. And we'll say we started at 8 a.m. and finished at 11. And I'm going to put that down to general labor. And the notes will be installed, this stuff, which is fine. So now I've kept track of my time, and you'll see it incremented it for me by three hours. So projects are very, very powerful. You can attach them to an account, an opportunity that can be standalone. And to go ahead and create a project, it's, it's very simple to do. What you can do is just go into your 
projects module or from the home page, which I'll do here, I can just say create a new project. And when I do that, I'm going to get the option to associate that with an account or an opportunity. So just like we're used to using here, if I hit the select button, I can come in here and pick like ABC lock and key again, let's say, right? We'll go ahead and pick that. Or I could do an opportunity if I wanted. So if I select opportunity, I come into select here. You can see that I could say it's going to be the wiffle bats at action remediation. So it's really very powerful. You can see what's going on where I can select different opportunities or accounts. I can also say on the name, I'll just call it a new one, etc., and fill it out. And as soon as you hit save, then you can start to add in some notes, some different time tracking elements or products you want to associate. Now let's go into an account. Let's look at ABC lock and key. And we'll also take a look at how you see projects over there. So when I go into the account, there'll be a tab for projects. Take a minute here. You'll see a number next to it. And you'll see there are four projects associated in this account. And when I click on that, what I see is I've got these four projects currently queued up with this particular account. Okay. Now if I go into an opportunity, let's go take a look at that. And let's look at, let's say, Madison. I'm not sure if there's a project there, but there, there very well could be. So let's go take a look at this guy. So I'm going into my opportunity here. And you see the way I move around the system. And then I could say, okay, are there any projects here? Well, there's not a project yet, but I could create a project here as well. I can go into here. And if I say new item here, it will create a project with all the information already entered about this opportunity for me. So that's very handy as well. If I'm working away, you can see here what's picked up that information rather than me having to specify opportunity and pick that opportunity. So I'm just showing you a couple of ways to move around with projects in Sidekick 365. What you'll notice, you can create them from the new dropdown. You can create them inside an opportunity, inside a project, or they can be standalone. And they're very, very useful. I use them all the time to track different activities that I'm working on. And I attach Word files, Excel files. I can also attach emails through our add-in and Outlook. So that's about enough for right now. I just wanted to give you a quick overview of how projects work. You can see that they're very, very handy to have. And of course, they're customizable with our tool, XRM Manager. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us at info at skylightsystems.com. This is Dave Chenault, and I really appreciate your time and spent with me today going through the projects module in Sidekick 365 XRM Ultimate.